So we would be learning how to find equilibrium vector, uh, which is also known as a long-term trend. So first we try to understand that what is that equilibrium vector. So equilibrium vector would be some vector V. When we multiply with the transition matrix, it gives the same vector. So something like this one. So VA is equal to V. So let me label this transition matrix by A. And uh, now because as it has a 2 by 2 matrix, so our vector should also have a 2 component. So let me write it this one. So that say vector V or a row matrix V which would have a component like say, V1, V2. And because this is a probability vector, the sum of the component must be equal to 1. So this is one of the equation we could use it later. And now come to this equation or equilibrium equation. So VA is equal to V. So our V is V1, V2, and our A is like say 0 0.7, 0 0.3, so 0 0.8, 0 0.2. So that should be equal to V, that is V1 and V2. And we have to just solve this equation now. So when we multiply the left side, so we would get like say 0 0.7 V1 plus 0.8 V2 and 0 0.8. 3v1 plus 0.2v2. So this product equal to this one, and on the right side we have v1, v2. And in order for these both sides be equal, right? So this must be equal to this side. And similarly, the second component must be equal to second component. So we we'll write here so 0.7v1 plus 0.8v2. So that's equal to one and from the second component so point three v one plus point v two is equal to v two. So now just solve these equations here. So this side so subtract like point seven v one point seven v one so we are getting here like this is zero so point eight v two is equal to uh, V1 minus, so you can think of component 1, 1 minus 0 0.7 is 0 0.3 V1. Or V2 is equal to 0 0.3 by 0 0.8 So, or V2 is equal to 3 by 8 V1, right? So this is another equation we got. Similarly from this part here, so if you subtract like say, point to v2, you get here point v1 is equal to point 0.8 v2. If you want to write in terms of v2, so divide by point 0.8, divide by point 0.8, so you got like say uh, 3 by 8 v1 is equal to so basically, this equation is the same as this one, right? So these two equations are the same, right? These are the same. So therefore, they are just redundant. So we would just ignore this one. And we would be using this equation and the equation we have earlier, this one, and solve these two equations. So let me write these equations. So previously, we had this equation. So V1 plus V2 is equal to 1 and now with this equation and this equation we just uh, okay find the values of V1 and V2. So what we do is that we would replace this V2 here with this value here. So we would get V1 plus V2 replaced with the 3 eighths of uh, V1 that's equal to 1 and uh, if I simplify this left side so I can write as 8 by 8, right? So this gave me 11 by 8, V1, V1, or V1 would be 8 by 11. And similarly, so this is my V1 value, and then I can plug in here, right? So 
this value plug in here and this gave me V2. So now V2 would be the eighth of V1. So V1 I replace with this its value. 8 by 11. So that's equal to V by 11. So my vector would be then probability vector uh, V1, V2. So which was vector V? <coughs> so V1 is 8 by 11 and V2 is 3 by 11 and uh, because our question says that you round it to the nearest uh, thousands so it would become a point uh, 727 and uh, 0.273 so this is your equilibrium vector for this transition matter.